Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Scrote here. We are taking a look at another episode of From the Depths. Continuing our sweet win streak against the Onyx Watch. And now we're just going to continue on. So we, we have a battle here right off the bat. The old 12th Army. We're going to send the Rivers to light in. And it's going to be phenomenal. I still got to do some retrofitting, but I thought... I'm going to take out some of these localized battles first. I don't want to have a situation occur, you know, like where my ship just doesn't have anything on it. All right, let's get down here. Let's see what kind of... What are we aiming at right now? I'm not quite sure. Looks like we're... This is a Meridian, and that's a Bastion. I'm slowly getting it. I'm slowly getting it. Here we go. It looks like he's finally putting a bead on the old Meridian here. Looks like he can't make up his mind. He's like, I'm going to shoot this guy. I'm going to shoot that guy. All right, well, the Meridian... The Meridian's already... Got some issue. Wow, we have already torn some bits into this guy. Jeez. Holy smokes. Gosh, man, when they go down, they go down quick sometimes. The Bastion's seen better days. I, he might be all right. He might be okay. Oh, nope. Explosions. It's tis but a flesh wound. If He, he kind of reminds me of the Black Knight for some reason. From, like, Monty Python, you know? In the search for the Holy Grail. Gosh, what a great movie. Now I kind of want to watch that. It's a classic. It's been years since I've seen it. And, you know, I love how, even in movies these days, they still use coconuts for, like, horse hooves and stuff. It's just because, as, uh, as people, you know, we've been brought up with uh, coconuts being used for, for horse hooves so long, you know, that uh, when, when the absence of that sound is there, it's it's almost awkward. It's so weird. You can hear some movies that do stuff like that. Like in Django. Django Unchained. Really good movie. That's so totally a weird, like, side little tangent thing there. I don't know why I just started talking about that. Something about the Black Knight and then Monty Python, and all of a sudden I was talking about horse hooves and coconuts. Welcome to the Mind of Scrooge. All right, that guy. Another one bites the dust. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Let's get this retrofit in action here. I'd like to get the latest version of the River's Delight. There we go. So he's he's got a little bit of repairing to do. Oh, look, look at those little raffle copters coming out. Getting their repair magic going. Let's go, you guys. Apparently everything talks high pitched uh, in my world. All right, so these guys are are looking pretty good. I'm tempted to build some more resource ships. I don't want to do it yet. Um, I'd like to build a resource ship that could travel faster. You know, it just has like a faster travel time. Because if I build them down here at my fortress, uh, you know, it's going to take them a while. Like I need to get one here, one here, one here. Oh man, one here. One there. Jeez, I am behind the ball on that. All right, so let's let's get these guys moving about here. And let's see what else we can take out on the Onyx Watch. This is exciting. Once we pass this threshold, there still could be something here. I may have this, uh, this River's Delight up here in the uh, top left. Maybe move down here just to scope things out, make sure everything's going to be okay. I don't want anybody sneaking up on us. But if this is a force count of 88, enemy strength, they, they probably have some serious, serious good stuff going on here. All right, here we go. We're about to cross this threshold, all right? There's a force count of 15. Not worried about that at all. I'll bring this guy over here, and let's see what we're dealing with over here. Ooh, force count of 85, all right? Let me do a save. It, seem, it seems to me that these really big battles with these large forces uh, are the ones that uh, cause problems sometimes. That I've noticed when if I'm going to crash, it's going to be in one of these huge ones. All right, so here we go. Who, who are we going to be fighting first? Probably this big fleet. Let's do it. And there's, there's another pretty good size one uh, coming up there from the north. Here we go, you guys. Boom. All right, it's go time. It is go time. 
I'm always worried, and it's it's flipping raining. Let me turn the rain off. Let's let's go ahead and get that underway. All right, Rivers Delight spawning in. You know we just got to keep hammering these. Uh... Ooh, how many ships is it? Three. Yeah, we just got to keep hammering these Onyx Watch. Just got to keep it coming to them. Ho oh, ho! Is that a Constitution? Oh, sweet Nelly, that. I love this ship. It is so cool looking. That is a Constitution. It is a 2.6 million RP ship. Let's see. Alright, who are we going for here? We're going after. Alright, is this a pinnacle? I think this might be a pinnacle, maybe? Let me get in there. Iron Cross. Dang it. I'm st I'm getting close. Alright, it's the Iron Cross. So this guy hasn't spawned in yet. Could be, maybe he puts it over the uh, 30,000 block count. Yeah, let's get the let's get the UI off here. So, it's, it's nice. If you have range on that Constitution, until the Constitution broadsides you... I'm, I, I feel like you're pretty safe against it. He does have front and back cannons. Or are they just back cannons? No, he's got front ones too, you can see. What a cool job on like the, the front mast on this thing. It'd be sweet if you could have, you know, like uh, how some pirate ships and stuff have like a figurine. Like draped across the mast or whatever. Or what do you call that? The, the front part that comes out of the ship. My naval terms are just, ah, they're terrible. They're no good. So I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about this Iron Cross. I'm worried about this pinnacle. He, I mean, this uh, Constitution. He's already shooting at me. Got bullets coming in here. Let's see. Luckily, we're still front and center. Okay, oh yeah, we're focusing on him now. Here we go. Let's take a look. Oh man, are we ever focusing on him. We are just chewing into that. Wow. Oh, look at that metal just melting. I'd say like taking a hot knife to butter. You know? Just slides right on through. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Jeez. You're not gonna be you're not gonna be lasting very long, my friend, if you're gonna be coming straight at the river's delight. That's what you don't want to do. You don't want to come straight on. Oh yeah, we got an explosion. Uh, probably deep in the hold there. <laughs> deep in the hold. Retrofitting looks to be done on this ship. On the on the river's delight, I mean. All right, so we're eating into the Constitution. Columbus is probably on there, getting his sail on. He's like, "I'm I'm here to find the new world, baby." But I got some problems. For some reason. Explosive warheads are real, and they are wrecking. A lot of the action could be going on down here. Yep. As you can see, just getting into the side of this guy. Is this another... Okay, so this is a Meridian. I'm pretty sure it's a Meridian. Yep, it's a Meridian. Okay. I like his side jet stabilizers. That's kind of cool. That's a cool idea for a ship. All right, so we've refocused on the Iron Cross. Iron Cross is now disintegrating. Look at all those AI mainframes. Jeez. Or those local weapon controllers. Never mind. Okay, so now let's see. We're refocusing back over here on the Constitution. I'm not worried about the Constitution. I don't, I don't think he could broadside us right now if he wanted to. I mean, look at, look at this just melting... Always oh, melting. It feels so good. And then here we got the missiles coming in. He's blowing up, I think. Yep. And look where the missiles are going. He must have some decoys up here. Ooh, interesting. Wait, what? Okay, okay. Kind of weird, but... Missiles were going after the sails, I guess, and it doesn't look like they did anything. Oh, man. This is... <laughs> this is like... He is down in the grit right there. Boom, boom. Yep, great. Just a solid stream of missiles. 
We must still be focusing all down here. Yeah, wow, we. What a ship. I mean, it's it's sexy, you know? It's really great looking. Ah, look at that. So way down there, that's where it keeps its magic. That's where all the magic is in the Constitution. And that's where also, if you've known, that's where they bake all their biscuits. It wouldn't be a ship out on the ocean unless you had some nice hard biscuits to eat. Alright, so I think he's already disintegrating yet. We're still... We're still hammered away. Uh, we are now concentrating on the Meridian, who's pretty much point blank at this point. I mean, that's uh, that spells destruction. Like, you don't want to be point blank. Well, I mean, maybe he does. Maybe this is like a suicidal captain. And there he goes. Man, we... Golly. It just feels so good. Oh, no. Oh, I thought it was crashing. Oh, there we go. So the warden spawned in because we had reached a uh, block count for performance reasons. And that's okay. Actually made this battle probably a little bit easier. And, man, I'm really excited. Again, I always bring up the Unity 5 upgrade. I'm really excited just for any potential multi-threading and performance increases. There we go. There we go. Here come some missiles. We got the cannons going, the missiles, the wardens. He's already out of commission. I mean, there's no way he's shooting, right? We got the angry bees coming down right now. Running out of fuel right as they get there. <laughs> pew pew! We are up to 866,000 metal. My gosh. Okay, great. We, uh, we hit the core or something. We can now see deep in this guy. Ah, two engine systems. Interesting. So I believe if you actually have, like, you know, previously I had one engine system. Uh, I'm sorry, two separate engine systems in the River's Delight. And I found if I actually hooked them up, I was able to get, I was, it felt like just a huge increase in engine power for the same amount of components that the two engines had used otherwise separately. All right, all right, he's blown up. And that is that. That's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Wow, that was... All right, I'm going to save again. Hang on. That was a big battle. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. This is a victory sip right here. Mmm. Oh, ooh, it's hot. So hot, though. We're so hot right now. All right, so we're going to get this guy... We'll just chill him right there, and this guy, we will move on up here. We'll pull all. And keep it going. Let's go ahead and spawn in this one, so maybe he'll be able to repair some. Oh, but then I can't go fast. All right. Never mind. I can't wait until our own ships can repair when you're in, uh, like, the pull-all mode. That'll be really fantastic. And here comes a battle. Right about here. It's raining. Let me see if I can turn off the rain. Let me try again. Turn off the rain. I'm trying. Hang on. It's really hard sometimes. There we go. Maybe. There we go. Okay. So let's just make quick work of this guy. I mean, he... He's like, he's worth like 15 points. This should be super easy. Yeah, just a Bastion. Here comes the insanity. Flee, Bastion, flee! That could be the title of a movie. Flee, Bastion, flee. And then it's like the world's shortest movie. We're watching it right now. Bastion was never able to flee that day. Nope. Such a multitude of bullets streaming down from nowhere. Bastion decided to sit and take it. Oh, Bastion, I'm so sorry. 
You know, like, once you hook AI up, AI, it's got a mind of its own. It's sentient. And uh, it has feelings, too. Bastion, if, if you could have, like, an emoticon face for Bastion right now, he'd be a big old frown. Oh, no. Gone. He's gone. Alright, let's continue going here. Let's pull all. Let's just kick it. Look at this. Oh my gosh, we are making some serious headway here. Alright, we're coming up to another another good fight. Force count 39. Or sorry, strength 39. Force count 3. Get it right, Scroat. Alright, let's jump back in. Another battle. This one should be pretty fun. We got three ships we're fighting. Everything's on. Great. Let's get down here so we can take a look. Alright, now what is this? I've had to look at this a few times. The pinnacle. That's the pinnacle. I like how I'm going after the Telemachus. Like, the least of our worries. Oh, look! Our lasers are shooting the missiles. Holy shit, what is happening right now? Look at all these lines. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, no! I'm getting hit. There we go. We're, we're focusing on the pinnacle. He... Oh, yeah. See, he's got a lot of armor piercing. Good for getting through these shields. Let's see. I'm seeing some explosions. Uh, we are sitting at 97% health. He's got some stuff coming down here, too. That's always scary. Always scary. So, the pinnacle... He's, he's very heavily shielded. But, I mean, you know, when I flip you sideways like that, it don't matter none. <laughs> all right. All right. Pinnacle down. Pinnacle down. Well, no, he, no, he's cool. He's cool. He's sideways right now. No, pinnacle down. Yeah, now he's down. All right. So, who's left? Um, Just the Bastion. Oh, this again. Movie 2.0. This is the sequel. Flee, Bastion. Flee! No, he wants to take the battle right to my face. Look at this destruction. Oh, man. It just... Nothing gets old. So, at some point, I'd like to try to build to a theme, you know? I'd like to build, like... I want to pull up a schematic or the outside look of a hole for a battleship or something and... Just try and make one. I don't know. See, but there and again lies the problem. Like, if I spend eight hours working on a ship, that's... Eight hours I could have been recording or um, rendering or uploading any one of the other processes. Well, generally, as long as I'm not rendering, because that, that use, yeah, uses up my whole CPU, uh, my system, essentially. Um, yeah, as long as I'm not rendering, I'm okay to like keep, keep recording, but it takes a while. Yeah, so it's a hard trade-off. Like, this is one of those tough games where you could spend a long time building, but then I, uh, I wouldn't be making many recordings. I'm still trying to aim for... My, my goal right now is at least one video a day. So, like, for instance, I'm going to try to get two videos up today. And we're going to do one more battle here before we, uh, we before we stop this episode. And here we go. Another another good one. This River's Delight. Oh, my gosh. This is our bread and butter now. This is the uh, the mainstay of the Scrotorius fleet. So we got a Telemachus and we got a Pinnacle. We're going full on nude. Look, look at him. Look at him shooting little missiles at us. Alright, let's see if any of these make it. Alright, we're trying to shoot them. You can see our lasers. Come on, baby. Get it. We didn't get any of them. We suck. And then they, uh, we ram the crap out of them. Cool. I need to work on the accuracy of those lasers. I wonder what I could do for that. Because, yeah, they all just sort of connected there, didn't they? I mean, so you can see we get some. Like, we got one of the two there. Oh, and in fact, it looks like, uh, yeah, one of the laser shooters got knocked off. Oh! Their missiles are hitting our laser warners. Shoot, man. No wonder... No freaking wonder. 
And I don't know if uh, having these back ones covered with metal, like, just so the top sticks out, I don't know if that's inhibiting it somehow from, you know, shooting. There we go. Oh, yes, another victory. You guys, we have been on such a serious streak of victories lately. I hope I don't let it get to my head. So here's a strength 41 we have coming up next. And then look at this. My god. Strength 35, strength 5, and then we've got the Onyx Watch Fortress. This is it. I think next episode we might be able to polish these guys off. So, with that being said, yeah, we'll stop here. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed the episode. Uh, when we'll be continuing here uh, on the next one, hopefully to finish off the Onyx Watch. And then, hey, the question is, where do we want to go next? I'm thinking the White Flares. It feels like the right target to go for next because we'll be right up in there. But if that's the case, I'd like to work on first getting a few more Rivers of Light built, and then secondly working on getting some, uh, I want to get some some offensive ships to go with it. You know, the Rivers of Light's like a, a slow-moving platform, so I want to do like some, some flyers, some laser flyers, or, you know, do the whole mothership docking thing. Uh, I may work on that some this weekend. So we'll see how that pans out, but for now, some of the biggest things, changes we've made, B90 and the Interceptorians. I'm taking them out. They're done. I'm so done with those. I'm just, I'm freaking done. You know, first first time builds. I think I can do better. Certainly we can. So yeah, you guys, thanks a lot for hanging out. And uh, until next time, I hope you guys take it easy and stay classy.